to Baking with Melissa. Today I am joined by my good friend Jessica here who is going to help me make an easy recipe for dirt pie. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Now the great thing about this recipe is it's a no-bake recipe and it is very popular with people like Miss Jessica here and all of the social events you might have to go to and you don't have time to bake for. We're going to go ahead and begin. First off, we're going to put a fourth of a cup of butter into our bowl. And go ahead and dump that in, Jessica. If you can, yeah. And then we're going to dump in one eight ounce stick of cream cheese and then one cup of powdered sugar. Put that into the bowl. Excellent. And now we're going to get to mixing. All right, Jessica, have you ever used one of these hand mixers before? You have? All right, well then we'll just go ahead and stick it inside the bowl, turn it on, and get ready to go. Woo! There we go. Now it's time to make the pudding part of our recipe. So we're gonna take two boxes of vanilla instant pudding, and it is the 3.9 ounce. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. And dump it in. Now we're going to put our milk inside. Now it's time to make some pudding. And guess what? We get to use our hand mixer again. So I'm going to place it inside deep and we're going to turn it on and go. Okay, Jessica, we finished everything we needed to finish. And look at our pudding now. It's nice and thick, right? Yes. Yes. So next, we're going to put our whipped topping into the bowl. Now we need 12 ounces of whipped topping. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Would you like to go ahead and put the whipped cream in there? Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead. Just plop it on in. Very good. We're gonna make it super sweet. Now what we're gonna do is fold the whipped cream or the whipped topping is what it's actually called into the pudding. And folding, of course, doesn't mean stirring really fast. It means we're slowly folding the whipped topping into the pudding. Next up, we're gonna add in our other mixture that had the cream cheese and the butter and the sugar. So now the great thing about this dessert you can put it in a 9 by 13 pan if you like, but you can also layer it in individual size cups. Today, we're going to just use a nice round bowl that you can see through, so that way we can see our beautiful layers. Now, there's not much left to do except use our Oreo cookies, which we've already crushed prior to this, and we're going to layer it with our pudding and the cream. And then on top, we're going to add some gummy worms. What we're going to do now, and I'll let you do this too, is take a big handful of Oreo cookies and we're just going to layer it on the bottom like so. Next up, we're going to layer on our pudding and cream. More dirt time! So let's add some more Oreos. Just take a big handful there and sprinkle it all around. Okay, we're going to stick our little gummy worms in there. It always adds a nice little surprise when you cut into it and there's a gummy worm in the middle. <laughs> Excellent! And we'll put more on top. Great. Now it's time for the fun part. Now it's time to put some gummy worms on top. Yeah. Okay, we're going to clean that up. So why don't you pick out a couple of gummy worms and we're just going to stick them into the pot. Now that we've left our Oreo dirt pie, in TV time, eight hours. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. What do you think? You, you wanna try your dirt pie? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Make sure you get some in there. Mmm, mm, that's really good. Well, thank you for joining us here with Baking with Melissa and my good friend, Miss Jessica. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.